Yo, 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 what's going on? It's your boy, Cool Ya P. It's the NRW Nerds Rule the World. Today, I'm going to be talking with a special guest, a good friend, my brother, actor Lee Shorten, uh, an amazing actor. We've had him on. I've talked to him a little bit about his projects, but he has an amazing project that's dropping today, y'all. It's called Swan Song with Maharaja Ali and my brother, Lee Shorten. So check out the trailer, and then I'll be back with my interview with Mr. Lee Shorten. Here we go. I still can't believe it. Are you going to fall in love with a new little person again? <laughs> Just breathe. I'm going to count you down from three. And on three, and two, and one. Breathe. I can't lie to my family anymore. The second you tell your wife that you are dying, your opportunity to do this is gone. You want to go say hi? everything even the memories you store deep in your subconscious do this with us and let life go on for your family a clean swap if what's going on cam can't figure out what the right thing is here <laughs> thought i had more time i guess You have an opportunity here. I'm not done. I didn't say he could You're go. dying. I feel like I've fallen in love with her for the first time again. You don't like this. You think I like this? Being told I'm not me. Because you're not me. You are not me! There you go. The trailer for Apple TV Plus is Swan Song dropping December 17th. Today, actually, y'all. It's dropping today. Um, check it out before you actually maybe watch this interview, because as you see on the screen, my special guest, uh, he plays Rafa in the film, my brother from another mother, Lee Shorten. How are you, bro? It's been a minute. Hey, man, I'm good. I'm good. Thanks for having me back. How are you doing? I'm well, man. It's great to see your face, man. I hope uh, the holidays is treating you fine. And uh, we're going to just continue these blessings and this love and light going into 2022, my friend. Let's uh, hope wishing so. you nothing but the utmost success, my friend. Back at you, sir. Back at you. So, uh, man, tell me a little bit about, we talked about it uh, a, a little bit the last time you we were on. We couldn't get into it too much. So I'm so excited to have you back now that it's out here into the world. Swan Song, y'all, check it out. Um, let, let's get into it. Uh, how did this project come your way? The sides come your way? Uh, 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 initially, so what was your reaction to the scripts when you uh, first, uh, you know, started looking into this project? Yeah, uh, so you know, it's like, if this is one of the ones that came through the usual channels, it's just like I got an audition. It was like three pages from the reps, and um, I I saw at that stage the only public info was that Mahershala was attached, and I was like, you know, damn, like I I'm, I'm a huge long term fan of that guy. Like I, I've always had the deepest respect for him. So I was like. The opportunity to just even audition for one of his projects i was like this is this is amazing so you know you know how it is you just throw out a tape and then you kind of just go about your day because whatever because the odds are so you know so low or whatever a couple of weeks later they're like hey so ben cleary the director he just wants to have a quick meeting with you and i was like oh you know, you're like oh my god like that's you know amazing because at that point you'd almost forgotten about it you, you know and and then I just met Ben. Oh, they sent me the script beforehand. Sorry. And I read it and I was very moved. Like I, I was a really, really good script. I could see why, you know, Mahershala wanted to do it. Um, 
And then I just met Ben and he was super nice. And we kind of just talked a little bit about my thoughts on the script and the character. And, and then he was like, you know, let's do it. <laughs> so it was, it was, I love it. Yeah, it's nice. Awesome. So uh, you play the character of Rafa, if I'm not mistaken, if I'm pronouncing it right. Uh, yeah. Tell me what you wanted to bring to the role in this character. Yeah, you know, it's, again, it's that interesting thing of like, when you get audition sides, you have no idea the context. And then talking with Ben, we'd, uh, you know, like, this is like, this is a very moving, beautiful, emotional movie. And, you know, they always say, you know, you can't have sweet without sour, or, you know, you always need balance, like you need levity in horror films, blah, blah, blah. And so Ben and I were talking and we looked at it and it's like Glenn Close in the movie is so warm. She's so warm and thoughtful and caring. So we wanted kind of Rafa to be the counterpoint to that. So we wanted him to be very like standoffish and kind of unreadable and just kind of cold. So um, that was kind of what we wanted to do. And then it was just a matter of figuring out like how that made sense. And then uh, we told him maybe he came from the military and that kind of thing. So. All right. So I didn't get a chance to watch it, unfortunately. I, I usually like to get the, the chance to see it. Um, so I'm hoping Apple Plus hook your boy up uh, in time <laughs> so I could maybe do a full review on it. But um, I saw you, I think I saw you driving uh, like a little boat uh, in the trailer, uh, <laughs> yeah. which I just played, you know, right before this interview. Um, so uh, what was it like? Uh, you know, you you got, as you said earlier, you, you, you or were aware that Maharaja Ali was attached. Uh, so you have, because I see, I've seen that little piece in the trailer. So you got to interact with him. What was it like collaborating uh, with him and, and working with him? Oh man. Like, um, like, like honestly, like no, no BS. He, he is one of the most humble, kind, gracious, generous guys on the face of the earth. Like, um, I mean, I'm not going to lie. Like day one, um, you know, he first had set, I was pretty nervous because, you know, not only is it your first day in a new gig, I'm like my first scenes with, with Mahershala, like my first, first scene of the movie. And yeah, I was, I was a bit nervous. I'm like, can I really go, you know, toe to toe with a man who's won two Oscars? Uh, it's pretty intimidating, but he's so nice, man. He's so real. It, it, it was crazy how nice he was. Um, and the funny thing about him is, is like, he does a lot of prep. Right. He, he does do a lot of prep, but then he's very like open and collaborative on the day. And I remember I was talking to him about um, True Detective season three. Did you see that one? Yeah. I'm, yeah. 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 You know how he like plays like three different timelines or whatever. He, he was telling me he had two weeks to prep for that. And I'm like, you know, oh, wow. how do you do that? That's so scary. He's like, listen, man. He's like, I trust. I'm like, OK, well, what do you what do you mean you trust? And he's like, so when I get to set. He's like, he's, he's like, I know I've done my work, but he's like, I trust you all have done your work. So he's like, I know in my heart, I don't have to have all the answers because if I don't have an answer, you're going to have the answer or Glenn's going to have the answer or Ben's going to have the answer. He's like, someone here will have the answer because everyone on this set is a talented professional. So he's like, I, I always feel okay because I trust everyone around me. And I was like, you would, it's just so humble and real, man. It's like, I'm, it's amazing. That had to make you feel good. That's beautiful. I love it. And so, uh, like I said, I saw you driving a boat. Did you, have you driven a boat before? Was that <laughs> some pre-training? Were you nervous? Because here you are riding this boat with, uh, you know, Marsh Ali on it. Like, what was that all about? That was pretty funny too, because I you see in the script, I got to drive this boat. And I'm like, production's like, so how much have you driven a boat? And I'm like, I haven't driven a boat since I was like a teenager. And they're like, <laughs> okay, we'll give you a day. We'll give you a day on the boat. So. I get a day of like training. So it's a couple of hours. So I'm just like going around and like, you know, we're going reasonably fast and doing turns and doing all this stuff. And I'm like feeling good, feeling good. And then of course on the day, we're literally just going to go in a straight line and we're going to go at like <laughs> so slow, like, like incredibly slow. And we just do that like three times. And then we're like, yep, we got it moving on. And it's like, probably could have done that without the training. Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> so they actually got you, uh, uh, in pre in pre production, uh, some some uh, an opportunity to, like drive and practice a little bit. Uh, it was it wasn't it was like in the middle of shooting because I guess oh, okay. we had that location for two days. Okay. So like I worked in the morning nearby and then spent the afternoon on the lake driving the boat, and then okay. the next day we came back and shot the boat scenes. Cool. So how fun was that? To like, did you have any? Like, hey, I think I could do this later on. Maybe get my <laughs> one of my own later on down the road. I mean, it was, a, it was such a nice boat. Um, it, it was, it was fun. I mean, you know, sets are always fun, especially when you get to do things that you don't normally do. So. Yeah. 
So were you, uh, I would assume, I'm, I'm sorry, I, I, things like this as an act, fellow actor, you know, w- with you, brother, um, to have to drive a boat, I'm sure they're, they're, you got to keep up pace because they're on another boat, I would assume. Like, I'd be a little nervous. I might go a little too fast. I don't want to go too fast because I have freaking Maharaji Ali on this boat with me. Like, <laughs> they're filming in another boat, right? And, and just, yeah. just that whole interaction. I don't know. I would have been straight nervous. Well, <laughs> and I mean, I would have been, except like that was that was a few, we'd been shooting for a few weeks. So I was feeling a bit more calm. And like the, the afternoon really helped because yeah, like the afternoon, it was just me and the guys who owned the boat. And like, so we were like, we were like kind of cutting it up and doing, you know, like turns and like, oh, like they really took me through it. So then on the day, it felt so manageable by okay. comparison. So you know how that is, like you push too far and then you come back and you're like, yeah. oh, whatever. <laughs> so uh, it, it was a pretty simple, I mean, they had a drone and all this stuff, but it, it felt oh, all right. okay, yeah, yeah. Cool, all right. So uh, all I know is that uh, from, from the trailer, <laughs> um, but now, uh, you know, I'm putting out this interview on the day of everybody, check it out, Apple TV Plus. Uh, it's out right now. Swan song. Check out my man Lee Shorten uh, in this amazing film. Um, uh, you've done, I'm sure, quite a bit of press here and there. Uh, and you recently had, um, well, as of this recording, uh, the premiere for it. Uh, what are just some things now that maybe you can you want to put put off your chest uh, that you can maybe talk about a little bit uh, with uh, your character, the role, or just some experiences uh, now w- without kind of like that that control uh of not being able to speak on it um any, any message or anything you want to say to the audience that's checking this out and, and may have just watched the film and, and they're now checking out this interview oh man i hope you liked it i hope you liked it <laughs> of course <laughs> and i think uh you know it, it's wild to me that, that this is mahershala's first leading role like he's been around for so long and he's so talented and i think like on the day watching him do it was like mind-blowing but then actually seeing the film was even more mind blowing because you know I could just appreciate the actual subtle, complex things he was doing. Like his performance, says I guess he's too, but is like phenomenal. Um, I don't know, like a bunch of my stuff ended up getting cut because you know that's the way that it, it happens because of time and that stuff. But you know, like one funny story was I remember like, and this is thing maybe you'll appreciate as an actor in the script. There's this thing where it's like uh, Jack's wet is wakes up and he's wet his pants and then I gotta like he's he's still under the technology so I gotta like clean up his his pee and it's just like one line in the script and you're like oh whatever that's gonna be but then you get there and it's like a three page script so it goes on forever so the first take all they're giving me is like a cloth so I'm like I don't I'm just down there just cleaning up this pee for like a full like five minutes and then we got everyone's laughing they're just like yo you were down there for so long what are you doing down there what are you doing down there and it's like yeah. well I... <laughs> so and then every take we do like just add more and more business oh okay well uh this take can we get like can we get like this other thing so he can like maybe like take the 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 implants of his head that still didn't take long oh can we get and it just kept like building and building and then of course that scene didn't even make it into the the movie yeah. but I feel that yo the filmmaking process is always interesting and what will make it what will not make it um I don't know if since the last time I talked to you I've worked on a Netflix film that's dropping this month of this release too not maybe I think maybe I don't know if it's coming out the same day I don't know I've got to check on maybe. that <laughs> but uh I had a friend that went saw the screener saw my name in the credits well because uh, he also worked on it too but he didn't really see our scene so I'm like shit we it, it's not good. another big one but you know it I'm is sorry, what it is man. I'm got sorry. the name in the credits you know we'll get the residuals <laughs> but <laughs> but you know it is just what it is man but just the, the process and being able to interact in, on set with everybody is you know that's that's where you know uh that, that, that's what we do it you know what i'm saying uh and uh but no nah, man i i love it and uh i'm excited for you uh with this i can't wait to see this um are there any other projects you have on the horizon that maybe we also uh can show love and light on before we i let you go <laughs> I wish, man. I, I mean, like I do, but I can't, I can't talk. Oh, I can't oh, talk about it. But there is so something. Long. It's coming. You it's know? coming. So when you can, just like with this one, I'd love to have you back and show love and light, bro. And, and, and all of that. But uh, so for the, the fans that are checking this out, maybe you didn't see the last episode. How can uh, they follow you and, and see everything going down with my brother Lee Shorten, man? Uh, on the oh, uh, You can check me on Instagram or Twitter, just at LC Shorten. So there you go, y'all. Give him a follow. Uh, Brother Lee, all the love, man. Happy holidays. Uh, All the love and light into the new year. 
Uh, I appreciate you coming through to just talk a little bit about Swan Song. Y'all go check it out. Streaming on Apple TV Plus uh, right now, December 17th. Uh, it's in the world. Uh, and, and let my boy Lee know uh, uh, everything you feel about it. Um, it looks like a great message. It looks like it's a, a story that I, uh, I'll probably need to bring out the tissue box. It's going to make me tear up a little bit. I, I I think so, man. I, I cried reading it. I cried watching it. I cried on the day when we were shooting a couple of scenes. It's uh, I think it's a beautiful story, you know. I'm with you, bro. I think we're impasse as as artists. You know, we we feel with everything because we put it into the work. We have so, to. Um, it, it's it's nothing but love, and it's okay to cry for all y'all guys out there. You little too maybe think it's too macho machismo. It's okay to cry, man. Just let it out. All right, brother. My brother Lee Shorten. Always a pleasure. Give them all the love. Give them all the follows. Your boy Kuya P, the legend Kuya P on everything. NRW, nerds rule the world. We're out of here. Swan song, y'all. Check it out. Apple TV Plus. Peace. Right.